with uh, Buck Williams here at the Lefty Drizel event. Uh, Buck, uh, just talk about today and what this means to you after seeing, you know, after so many years to see that Lefty finally get honored like this. You know, coaches, you know, done so much uh, for the university and so much for the community at large. And it's kind of good to see they begin to recognize, you know, Gary has been here for years and and without Lefty Drizel, there would never been a Gary Williams. And, and it's, it's just fitting that we do something in his honor and I think tonight will be a great start. Okay. And how much do you still talk to Lefty these days? How much do you guys keep in touch? Well, I call him periodically. You know, right now he's in retirement, so he's, he's calling all his former players because he's kind of bored right now. But outside of that, you know, we talk periodically. Okay. What do you guys talk about? Anything? You guys reminisce or anything like that? Well, we talk about our families. You know, we talk about Chucky and his coaching career. We talk about some of the uh, old times when I played at the University of Maryland here. So, you know, I love talking to him, and, and uh, he's such a great person. and. It's done so much for me and, and my career and my family. Sure. Okay. And I know there, there's a lot of these, but give me your favorite lefty moment, your favorite lefty story. Well, my favorite lefty story, I have so many, but the one that sticks out is that when lefty came down to my home in North Carolina, you know, I grew up in North Carolina. Everybody that thought I was going to the University of North Carolina, he comes down and started recruiting me. So he comes into my house the first day, he sits down with my mother, and he started talking about the advantages of going to the University of Maryland. And then the subject switched to start talking about food and soul food. And he knew soul food about barbecue. He knew, you know, all the soul food cuisine. And that really impressed my mom a great deal. So I ended up coming to the University of Maryland. Okay. Yeah, we heard he's really good with moms. Did he impress your mom right away? Well, you know, he did. And the thing about Lefty, he was so comfortable. You know, we come to your home. I mean, he used to go to a lot of urban centers. A lot of coaches uh, at that time did not want to go in urban centers. But Lefty would go in and, and get some of the top recruits in the country. So. You know, he made it popular or, or in vogue to go into the, the urban centers, and and, and it, it really paid well dividends for him because he really uh, did well in the coaching uh, front. Sure. And uh, just talk about Lefty as a coach. What was he like to play for? What was what was he? How did how was he as a as a coach? Well, he was kind of conventional. You know, we do things such as uh, dab on the floor on our chest, things like volleyball players would do. He would always try to find an edge. And, and never mentioned Dean Smith to him because that was his nemesis. But he was, uh, you know, he always pinned stuff on the board to get you fired up and motivated for the game. And I just owe so much to him because he really instilled in me a great work ethic. And that's what coaching, I think, should be about. And he did a great job with that. And just uh, tell Terps fans what you're doing now, what you're doing professionally, and where you're living now, how your family is, all that kind of stuff. Well, you know, when I retired from the NBA, you know, I, I did some broadcasting and and from there, I became an entrepreneur, and I had two businesses that I sold. And last two years, I was in Portland, Oregon, uh, coaching the Trailblazers. Okay. And that was a lot of fun. Uh, the co everybody got fired last year, so right now I'm unemployed. <laughs> okay. Where are you living now, and uh, how's your family doing? I'm living in Potomac, Maryland right now. My family's doing well. We have two sons, uh, one is 24 and one is 20. So I'm beginning to get into the empty nesters uh, syndrome, but it's a lot of fun. Okay. And um, after playing in coal, for so many years. How much do you miss that facility, just not seeing games there anymore? Well, there's so much magic about that arena. And I don't know if you can duplicate it. I think they've done a very good job at the Comcast Center here. But it's a very intimate. You know, the, the students were always into the games. And it was just a very special time in, in basketball, in college basketball history with the ACC. And, and they were very special. It's nothing like playing here. I never got that experience again. And, uh, and it was just great just playing at University of Maryland. Sure. And what do you think of Coach Turgeon's program right now? What do you think about Maryland and the state of Maryland basketball? Well, Coach Turgeon's done a good job. I mean, it's, you know, he come out and he's really been able to build that excitement back again. You know, Gary's done a phenomenal job, you know, winning a championship, you know, something that Lefty talked about for years, being the UCLA of the East. But Gary's finally able to win a championship, and now hopefully Turgeon can take it, you know, to the next level. I mean, he's a good coach, and, and hopefully get some good prospects in so we can continue to be uh, pretty dominant our basketball program.